Anything too short is gonna make me cry. I feel like we should just cut it short. Just cut it off. Wow, I didn't expect this. Oh, we got a good one today. Hey, Danielle, guess what? Guess what we're doing today? A makeover. A makeover? Oh my god. Yes. You didn't know, huh? No. Okay, I'm so, so excited. we have the coolest girl coming in. She's coming in from California. Yeah. Right? She reached out to me in uh -huh. an email probably about four months ago. Reached out to me in an email and said, Hey, watch your channel. Really want to do a makeover. Da 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 da. And I was like, Okay, send me a video. Okay. Didn't just write in, sent in a video, told me their story, and I was like, Yes, absolutely. So she flew in yesterday. Okay. Or the day before. So she flew from in, California. From California. Oh my gosh. Just to have us make over her hair. Wow. Does this she, make a celebrity? No, no. I have no idea why she would do that. She's <laughs> clearly, I think we've got our work cut out for her okay. because I don't know, no normal person would want us to do that. <laughs> okay. So we are at the salon. She's about to show up here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, you guys are going to love, this is a story. She's got a story. You're going to love her story. I'm going to love her story. It's pretty I'm amazing. I'm sure I will. Well, I can't wait to hear it. All right. Okay. Let's go meet Sylvia. Hello. 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 How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Oh, great to meet you, Justin. Hey. Great to meet you, too. Hey. So great to meet you, too. Yeah. So are you excited? I'm stoked. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So just so you know what's going to happen, we're going to walk through a little bit. We're going to hear a little bit about your story because I know you have a big reason for being here. Big time. Yeah. I can't wait to hear it. I, don't, oh. I know oh, nothing amazing. about it. So, oh, yeah. I'm excited to share with you guys. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's absolutely. huge. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Then we're going to go through a consultation like we normally would. Uh -huh. We'll kind of talk about what we should do, what you want to do. And then hopefully maybe we'll do something kind of like that. So I'm going to trust maybe you not. guys too in terms of your expertise. You guys are the pros. You guys are the artists. And like, I'm just thrilled for that. So Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm totally in your hands. Fantastic. Okay. So I love that. I trust you guys. So, yeah. so we will do that. Let's dive into uh, your story. Uh, my name is Sylvia Ferrero. I currently live in San Diego, but I'm officially from Uruguay. I knew for the last 10 years that I wanted to donate my hair to a little girl that uh, had lost her hair due to cancer or some other health-related issue. So I knew that that was something that I really wanted to, to do and experience and gift. Um, and I knew I had to do it before my hair really started to turn gray. <laughs> and so I was like, this is the guy. And then I reached out and here I am. So I was in the fitness and wellness industry um, I won two world championships in my sport. Uh, I was a Hall of Famer in my sport for Women's Tri Fitness. Did magazine covers. I was uh, like, I, w I was thriving as a fitness person. And so when I retired as a fitness athlete, that's when everything started to go downhill. I'm like, oh, who is Sylvia? So at 37, I had attempted suicide. Imagine, like I just hit the pinnacle of my fitness career. I'm like living with a, a really well-known uh, holistic uh, doctor out in New Mexico. So I just had three months of like what what should have been the most amazing time of my life. Um, and yet now I'm driving back to South Florida. I was like, this is it. This is like the top of the food chain. I had a celebrity fitness boyfriend at the time. He was like, like amazing guy. And I'm just like, and I'm miserable. And so I felt like a, I felt like a real jerk, but I couldn't shake it. And it was about 2.30 ish in the morning. Uh, and we, at that point we were in the hotel I couldn't sleep. I'd, I'd almost been in a weird catatonic state. I snuck out of the hotel room. The hotel was close by the highway we'd pulled off of. And I don't even remember leaving the, the room. I don't remember walking across the parking lot. I don't remember, I don't even remember when I got to the side of the highway. I was in such a weird place. But I just remember watching. I was standing like the lines right there and there's like, you know, four lane highway and I'm just watching cars and trucks zoom by and I'm just like in the state and I just I still remember it was like a curve coming around this way it was like and I remember the moment I saw the 18 wheeler and I just remember hearing inside my head you're not even going to feel it so you won't even feel it and uh and I watched it come around and then the, the lights almost seemed like eyes to me it felt like it's coming to pull me out of this pain and uh, there was like a service a service road alongside the highway, highway and the red and blue lights of the police car come on it was enough to get me to do this and I hear ma'am I need you to step away from the highway and I just like looked and when I looked I saw the cruiser the police officer 
and I saw my partner, I'll never forget that look in his face and his hand, his hand was like reaching out. And the minute I felt his hand in my hand, he was like trembling, like I never, I, like it went through into like my spine, it went into my entire body. And I, um, and that was, uh, that was the moment I just felt the impact of my actions. Like I, I got it in that moment that I had impact on another human being and the depth of which I could cause suffering to another human by a choice. If I could tell the little girl inside me anything. Give me a second. I would say, um, like, you're, you're so good. Like, you're just so good. You know, you're not bad. You're not ugly. You're not... You're, you're like perfect and you're amazing and you're creative and um, and you don't have to hurt anymore not like that you know and you're safe and you're amazing and you're powerful and magical <laughs> yeah okay so how much length before we start talking about cutting how much length did you need to take off to donate 12 inches so a whole foot of hair needs to come off so i can donate it to wigs for kids how comfortable are you going to be <laughs> uh i would say i'm definitely uncomfortable getting it short anything too short is going to make me cry but i could like collarbone anywhere between my armpit and my collarbone i'd be i'd be down okay so when you how do you style your hair typically like step by step what do you do in the morning i wash it put it in a ponytail if, if I'm going to be training or doing what I got to do or if I'm going out I do kind of a little bit more of a vampy look so sometimes down the middle and sometimes to the side it's usually this side do you dry it straight or do you dry it wavy I usually do it wavy okay. so I'm, I'm beach girl so it's either like wash and go and go do cool stuff outside and um and so it's either in a ponytail kind of like beachy vibe or if I'm otherwise I'm curling it okay. yeah it's very rare that I'll do straight so wavy, as long as when it's wavy, it sits around your collarbone is what you're going to be the most comfortable with. That would be like, that would be the edge for me. So you, you've already talked a little bit about what you do. So currently your personal training, you're training people, personal training people as well as the emotional side. Yeah. So I do, I've done personal training, just the shift in gears with everything that's going on in the world. So now my work is more online. So I'm a fitness host and a lifestyle transformation mentor. So your hair does need to come back pretty often. Like, are you putting- It's usually in a ponytail. Nine out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10 when I'm training people. Okay. It needs to go back, yeah, out of my face. Okay, so if yeah. you can pull it back and get most of it in one ponytail, and then the front will tuck behind your ears, or you can use a body pin inside, clips. you're good? I'm okay with that, yeah. Okay. Those right. headbands, they're good. Yeah, no, no, they're headbands solid. Headbands are awesome. Yeah. Is there anything that you've had in the past at that rough length range that you absolutely hated? Um, the thing I'm not drawn to, but I'm open to, is, you know, the lobs that are kind of like, you know, well, you've done a bunch of, um, I, I think they look amazing on other women. And I, for me, I don't feel drawn to it. It's funny because you guys see us ask so many questions so often, if you've watched these before, but every once in a while you get a client that, in like your scenario, where you just kind of like a couple questions and you're like, I think I got it. And right, I feel like right. that's for me, I feel like that's where we're gonna, so let's move to color. What do you think? Okay, well, my first question is, you've been natural now for 10 okay. years. And you, before that time, you said that you had grown your hair out um, or you had done a lot of color, so you worked on getting that grown out. So what's your history back then? Like, what kind of things did you do? Yeah, uh, just highlights, okay. different types of highlights. Um, they've gone really uh, white, uh, only because highlight over highlight over highlight, like my hair just got super bleached. Do you like to keep that dimension in your hair? Do you I would love some dimension in my hair. Um, um, is there any color that you would you just do not identify with? Whoa, <laughs> I've never been asked that. Um, I wouldn't want to go like redhead. When do you think you would probably get your next color? Do you want like three weeks, a month, six weeks, or do you want to be able to let it grow? Yeah, I would say a little bit, especially with everything that's going on right now, a little bit more on the lower maintenance side would be helpful. Do you want your color to whisper, talk, or scream? 
<laughs> What's that scale look like? <laughs> Whisper, talk, or scream? So if somebody were to see you, um, do, you want your, do you want your color to speak before you speak, or do you want to be the one that does the introduction? I mean, yeah, I don't, want to, I don't need to scream. Okay. Definitely don't need to scream. I'm more of a... And, and whisper feels a little bit too on the safe side. I'm not that, I'm like maybe a mi the middle path. So you're ready to be bolder, but a little not, bolder. okay. Yeah, and like coming out into the light, just a little brighter. A brighter is what I'm feeling, like, yeah. You think you have an idea? I do, Okay. Yeah. Then All I right. say we do this. Why don't we go back and have a little chat, okay. discuss this. Like secret? Yeah. Yeah, and Ooh, you. You don't get to listen. You don't get to know until, you will know when you get shown what happened. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited and scared and all of the things, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun with Right now, if you look at her, like this long hair, everything about it just drags her face down. There's nothing to open her up and, and accentuate anything exactly. to me. I think she's got great bone structure. Yes. She's got great cheek structure. She's got great eyes, you know, beautiful. I think, yeah. I feel like, and I think she even kind of mentioned this, it's a little bit of hiding behind the right, hair, right. and I think that's exactly what this is looking like to me. It's right. like there's hair, just like you said, and then there's her. Right. And I think we need to open her up a little bit more. So, what do you think as far as the color goes? What are you thinking? What do you well, what would you grab from her? I, you know, she talks about her hair being her crown. Uh, that leads me, I think, gold. You know, when you think about a, a crown, it's I think gorgeous. of gold, and so. Um, I would, I want to make her pop. So I don't want it to scream or look, you know, like, it, I don't think it needs to be avant-garde, but I just think in the place that she is, if, if I really took in the essence of who she is and what she's become, then she needs something very different. So how do we achieve a pretty big change without having her married to maintenance? Mm. So that's that's the fine line I'm walking, and that's what makes it really exciting because I have to get very creative in how we're going to pull that off. Uh, well, now I can't wait to see what you do. Yeah. Now I'm excited. All right. Well, I say let's get to it. That's good. Whatever you want. Oh my God, for real? That's, ah! It's all you. Okay. Oh my God. I I love it. Do you? Oh my God. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you like it? No, I love it. I freaking love it. Oh my God, I love it so much. So as, as far as the cut, I wanted to make sure that the thing about the longer hair is that the, the reason you had it is very noble. But as a whole, it, as you, I think you felt like, yeah. it kind of just hid you. Yeah. So you I, couldn't really see you. So the, the big thing was, you talked a lot about beachy. The yeah. word beachy came up, I don't remember how many times. <laughs> totally. And beachy wave and softness. So yeah. there's no way we couldn't do something that would allow you the versatility of being able to give it wave. Yeah. Um, your hair has an actual wave in it anyway. Yeah. So realistically, you're gonna let this air dry and it's gonna have a different wave because we used to curl our flat iron it today. Yeah. Um, but it's gonna have waves and it's gonna work well for you. But the big thing is you also have great bone structure. So there's absolutely no reason in hiding all of that. So lightening up the front a little bit, adding some of those layers is gonna yeah. open you up a little bit more. It accentuates your cheek structure more. I see that. Yeah. Oh my God, like my face looks like it's coming up. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it feels like, it feels like I naturally have a more effervescent personality and that like that young heart inside me just feels like, it's, okay, it's out here now. Like it just feels amazing. The color, um, you had mentioned that you're not going to really maintain it, so that was the big trick because we wanted <laughs> yeah. to shift you. You had talked about blondes and yeah, and um, there was mention of J Lo and her kind of hair color. Yeah, the Latin. The one thing I noticed is when we were consulting is that your skin actually has a real olive kind of green undertone, yeah, and your natural hair color actually drew that out more. Yeah, so we wanted to do something to kind of counter that and yeah. really bring out more of the peachy colors in your skin. So oh my that's God. where we went more with gold. I love but it. But in order to, um, you know, did a few processes and I wanted to be sure that um, this was low maintenance so that you will be able to grow it. Yeah. It won't have a real dramatic line. 
coming in. Coming in. Yeah. yeah. So I love that you said gold. Yes. Like it's the crown, baby. Yeah. And it's just like the conversation. Really? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yes. Oh she my. was like the first minute I heard crown, she's like, gold just popped into my head. Oh like, my duh. goodness. Yes. Yeah. That was that's, funny. That is amazing. Yeah. Well, you guys pick up those little nuances. Yes. So good. I was so it was so worth the freaking flight to Cal from California. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's it been such a delight. Yeah, yeah. thank, thank it, you. It, it is great. Yeah, we appreciate you coming out and hanging out. We appreciate you for yes. hanging out with us. Thank you very much. Thank you guys thank you. very much. Yeah, it's thank you. Absolutely. It's been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank Check you. out one of these two videos. We'll see you in the next Bye. one. Bye. Bye.